All right, you head upstairs. As I as I said, there's an unconscious corn. Um, so you you lost your prisoner, but you still got a prisoner. Um, uh, but you've also got a lot of damage. His vitals as well. Uh, he appears to be um, unconscious, but otherwise fine. Uh, he's uh, respirating uh, like steadily. Worm notices a a liquid stain on the front of his trousers. <laughs> <laughs> Where he there you go. The <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Well, downstairs you've got a lot of corpses and oh uh, enough damage that you won't be able to get your speeder out and a hole in the wall, meaning you can't secure your garage. Uh, for the evening. Outside, you hear a crowd beginning to gather in the street as well as you go about your business upstairs. <coughs> I say we move uh, back towards my suite if you guys want to head with me. Sounds good to me. Or, yes, definitely with on board with that, but you would like to... Uh, if there's anything you need to grab, all please, of my, yeah, please let me know now. If case files and confidential stuff is upstairs in the office. That can be locked, right? I don't have to start. Uh, it can be. Okay. Um, if your character has a data pad, you can also take the time to back all of that information up to a data pad. That's a really good idea. At this time. I don't know if you do or not. Let's I check should, that character we, sheet. Me and Warm should at least have a data pad between us. Somewhere in the apartment. The does, yeah. Yeah. Gather what you need. I'm going to take this guy out and then uh, meet me out in, in like I, okay, 10 minutes. You're going to take the uh, the captive? Yeah, I'm going to take the captive, put him in the, the speeder with me, and then I'll, I'll keep an eye on him out okay. of the eye of the public. Like, we'll wait inside of the speeder. And then right. uh, I'll wait for you for 10 minutes and let's get going. Sounds good. Uh, Worm um, is going to... Uh, oh, you might want to set fire to the uh, to this location with all the dead bodies that's inside of the big place that says Zeef's. I'll I'll handle the press. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> uh, Worm is going to uh, like I, I don't think he probably has like really of anything of particular value in Zeef's place. He's just. I don't think you have any couch. belongings here at all. So he's just going to uh, like check uh, go downstairs <laughs> where all the dead bodies were, kind of uh, you know make sure that there's nobody still there, and assuming that that Great. is the case, we're going to search them for uh, like any med packs or uh, stim packs or anything like that, com links, just basic. Go ahead and make a I'm going to call it an average difficulty check and I'm going to let you sell me on what skill it should be, perception or something else, like like a skullduggery or something, oh, you know what I mean? Like, are you want to like pat them so down, have... check them, or do you just want to check them for well, so I want to do like the, the basic, you know, whatever gear they had on them, kind of check. Okay. And... I wasn't really doing cool, cool. like All right. uh, okay. trying to find loot, but just sure. if they had stim well, packs, as, like I'm as out. The so GM, I want right, I understand that. As the GM, I need to make it into a check, though, because I can't just give you dead guys times gear on each guy gear for like ending a combat encounter. Otherwise, things get insane. They don't have stim pack among yeah. their gear, however, as their standard loadout. And, um, yeah, I'm not, uh, yeah, I'm not so. trying to get blaster rifles or anything, but yeah, any... That's all they have, is, yeah, okay. they don't have anything right, then I will do a perception just... check, I guess. Well, Absolutely, yeah, that, to try to find some extra stuff. To try and find, yeah, anything that I can, right. yeah, just... You can make a hard right. or an average, an average perception check um, with a uh, setback from the cold um, blowing yeah. in through the uh, gaping holes in the wall. Right, and if I, you succeed here, finish. you might still get the, um, you know, stim packs that you want. Packs. Exactly. Go ahead and roll your perception, though, because you did yep. pat down the bodies anyway and sort of, you know, sifted through them. So maybe you found something you didn't, though. Um, yeah. You um, take a strain from the displeasure of having to move uh, these corpses that yeah. you didn't make yourself, but, like, your pacifist and your allies, including apparently a yeah. Jedi Knight, are just like, now you're in a gang war, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this oh, yeah, is definitely fair. the yeah, hardest that working with Zeef has been so yeah. far. Um, all right, Zeef, what do you want to do? 
Um, so you said there's a crowd is beginning to gather outside. Yeah, it's some You're locals. Sort of murmuring, looking at the devastation, like, oh my They're god, what, what's happening curious. here? They're definitely curious. Exactly. So, the crowd is gathering, and then suddenly Zeef comes very gingerly stepping through the through the hole in the wall, kind of stumbles a little bit. Into the alley, into okay. The, it, just in front of the crowd, and kind of puts his okay. hands up, and he's like, We saw closed. <laughs> Zeef's detective agency is going to be closing for the renovations. So if you also want to come back in, like, maybe next week, that would be okie day. You know, like, nothing then you to see head back here. inside. Hide and upstairs and turn off the neon. Like after this, yeah, exactly. Uh, hunt. I go like, back there's, in. It's exactly long enough for you to walk in upstairs, down the hallway, <laughs> and in your office. And it, they see you in the window. Click the sign off. Yeah, they see most my silhouette the crowd, pulling the pull chain. <laughs> most of the crowd disperses. There are still two wow, distinct they actually, groups. They, they took that as an answer. Okay. <laughs> there are well. Here's the thing. There are still two distinct groups of individuals who look like they're waiting out there to speak specifically to you. Even after without the check, you've God, dispersed it's, everyone it's... who was just here to see the street theater. Okay, so you don't have to roll to disperse like okay the crowd that doesn't matter. But there are at the least... looking loos have wandered off. Exactly. I think but I know there who's are out two. There. Two groups of people standing out there. Yes, um, and I'll I'll flip another destiny point, keep things flowing, and to balance the force more in your direction. Um, uh, off in the, the the shadows there, as the last of the looky loos walk down the street, you see um, Junior, uh, the Aqualesh, um, Huck Cartel guy who uh is usually over at the outer bar at the x sure. club he's like the fish town guy you see him smoking a spice stick in the shadows there so there are two groups waiting for you out front and, and junior you. yes um and well i turned I'll the sign off so point. yeah so the, the gang is all here but you're upstairs in your office and you uh warm's got a data pad warm right yeah yeah yeah. Alright, well, it, you left it upstairs, it turns out, and Zeef downloads his case files to it, just in case. Um, okay. Stomper gonks his way around upstairs, looking around, unsure of what this hasty packing and all this combat, you know, his processors are still in shock, Zeef, as you uh, hustle around your office. Um, That's true, I you look around the room. damage at some point. Uh, what might not, you know, might be the last time, you know, for all you know. You didn't really bring anything much with you from Nar Shaddaa. You don't have any mementos of home uh, in this place. But uh, you stop and you go over to the cabinet on the wall. Uh, you open a drawer and you take out the first credit that you got as a payment for someone here in Fishtown uh, five years ago. When you first set up shop before you even had the kneel. Um, and then you click off the light and you shut the door behind you and lock it. Uh, the terminal powered down um, and locked behind a uh, fairly decent security package that you picked up from it at the door droid shop at some point in the last five years. It hasn't been updated in the last three years, but you know, like, unless somebody's got like top of the line icebreaker, it should still be good. You know what I mean? Cool. Like, so anything that how can be secured that? behind a door has been secured and locked behind. Door at this point. Just got an open I mean, air first, yeah, like ground floor that people can kind of people can through. get into the garage yeah. freely. You can lock the door into the garage. You can lock the door from the garage to the storeroom. You can lock. The, you can lock any of these doors. You know, but the garage. I'm just saying we lock secure. everything we can. At yeah, exactly. The garage. Right. Sure. Just, um, just for the cool. sake of brevity, we've Absolutely. locked everything that we can. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. The, the only first. thing you can't secure is the garage, basically okay. at this yeah. point. And you shut down your computer and you back up all your files to Warm Datapad. And, you know, you don't have any mementos except the one I described. And all I, your I guess gear. I'll, I'll leave the Quaginero's is... poster on the wall. You can stay here. In the bedroom? What about the one in the office, the framed one with the signature? God, it is autographed, isn't it? Fuck. Yeah. Damn. But it's like, I, it's I don't framed have... too, so, like, I mean, so that's going to be. Savix left in the expat sphere. No, he's just down in it. He said you had ten minutes. Oh, okay, cool. Well, then I'll cool. then I'll carry that stuff down to the screen. Right, so you've got a, a photo, an autograph from Ben Guajaneros. Yeah, I mean, I'm not yeah. insane. Like, 
No, you've got the framed the framed eight by eleven is with you, but like the race poster, you know, Zifa, which was really Zifla, nice. But. As he takes it down from the wall, he like his eyes furtively look around the room, and then he kisses it real quick and puts it in his coat. Awesome. Um, <laughs> all right, Warham, you don't have anything here. Like you've got some like tools that you prefer down in the workshop, but none of them that you think of as yours. You don't even want to think about the fucking speeder right now, frankly. Um, we're not even going to discuss what happened to it when all those bombs went off near it and above it. We're just not. Yeah, um, no, speeder took out, Outside, as I said, there are three uh, NPCs standing with various colored punctuation floating above their heads, uh, waiting for you to deal with them or ignore them as you see fit. And then uh, Zavix's speeder is slowly flashing with the exit zone color. Uh, for you to wrap things up here. One of them is the Aqualesh widow, whose husband's death of a spice overdose first put you on to the Carcaro brothers' operation on Ice Ball to begin. Two of her, uh, you're not sure if they are brothers in law or just brothers or cousins. But, but two of her posse from the bar earlier. Exactly. Are with her. Um, but she comes up and wraps her hands around you. Your hands in concern. And says, uh, Mr. Zeef, you're alright? Misa fine. Misa fine. Duh, thank you for your concern, though. As you can see, he gestures behind to the smoking husk of a building. Still working on the case. She says, And these men here? All this? This had to do with my husband? What was he wrapped up in? Uh, I don't... I, uh, I try to convey to her that I... Uh, Misa thinking your husband wasn't necessarily a bad guy. I think he got caught up in something big. Like, you don't need to be wondering if your husband was some gangster. Like, I think he right. was a victim. Go ahead Blatter. and make the check to convince her. Is that a charm to check? Assuage. You can make it a charm check. That's well, I'm, fun. I'm just wondering I would what, what you would suggest is a better check to use. Um, I would say it's probably, it's not a deception, so okay. it's either a charm or like a straight negotiation, charm but you're not trying to get anything out of her, so I'll charm, you know I'll charm what I mean? Her. You're trying to charm. charm, you're trying to assuage her. Maybe leadership, we could argue. Yeah, if she was like more loyal or whatever, but he's, <laughs> but again, you're not the that, sheriff. That would be to like to buff her for something she's going to do. For right, you're not the sheriff yeah. of town. Or whatever, yeah, so right. yeah, you're I, making I'm a charm a check. Charm dick. Dick. If the, the difficulty... Sheriff, it's the the difficulty is going to be hard, so it's going to be three purple with a setback from the cold and a setback from the darkness. So one setback effectively because the cold's point. gone, right? Correct. You're ignoring that. Okay, so three yes, purple. But you're standing out here in the shadows and you want to stand just right so you don't Zeef look sinister or whatever. I think you should get a you should get a boost for like clearly you've just survived something major and come out on top. Absolutely. To that sounds good for me. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You succeed. Nice. You take a strain from the, you know, the shock of all of what's going on and the blaster fire you took um, a couple of minutes ago. So you take one strain, but you succeed. She says, "Okay, Mr. Zeef, my nephew is here. They will look after your place if you're going after these men." You're going after these men, right? Yes? I uh, I put a reassuring hand on her shoulder and said, you said better believe it. And then in a very in a very caring, the, the most caring, softest, like gentle voice I can, I'll say, we'll bill you. <laughs> you don't have a moral <laughs> meter to take conflict on. <laughs> I said it in the most loving, like nurturing, like, we'll, I know, we'll so you don't. We'll bill Listen, you. My favorite is my favorite thing ever is the Ghostbusters, so I totally understand. Like we're having a special on proton charging, so that's only going to be another three thousand. Exactly. You know, on this made up tab, I'm. Zeef would have right Zeef would have pulled that shit on anyone on any case. The fact that now he's actually like in the hole because of this case, he's definitely going to pull that. All right. So one of the familial Aqualesh lead the widow away from you. The other one, a burly dock worker steps up and says, Thanks for helping Sis out. Real crisp up. The people are bringing scuzz like that to a lovely world like this. I understand the little gunjack 
to get through a shift, move some pallets, but what happened? Terrible. Zeef sighs. He says, yeah, this heavy shit's a whole different world. It's a world I didn't think would come here, but here we are. I'm just trying to make the best I can, get some justice for her. He gestures to your darkened residence behind you, he says. You're not staying here tonight, are you? No, no. We have, uh, we have associates going to put us up somewhere more secure for the night. So some of the cousins and me will keep an eye on the place. If anyone goes keep poking around, we'll tell them off. Zeef gives him a firm handshake and uh, makes his way back over to the speed. And he gets on his comp link and then goes to stand at the mouth of the alley, leading back towards your garage. Good man, that Aquilish. Um, you can still see off in the distance the glowing coal of Junior's spice stick as you approach the uh, last straggler here at the incident. You see that it's a group of uh, humans. Uh, in black, cold weather coats um, and dark caps, pants, and uh, combat boots standing there um, with their hands in their pockets, just sort of merrily uh, enjoying watching their misfortune. Um, Jerks. Uh, you know, they smugly, you know, they smugly project hate uh, at you as you come over and they go, Hey, frog. With that big nose of yours, shouldn't you smell the fire still going on in there? Don't you want to put the place out before you run off to your hole? Zeef's had a very long day. Zeef's had a lot of terrible things happen to him. Zeef doesn't right. really have any patience left. Zeef's gonna... No, but Zeef shouldn't start another fight right now, either. Well, you Zeef know shouldn't what I have mean? been baited. Zeef starts a fight. <laughs> okay. Was I it? always got to bait it's racist Zeef. fuck. Yeah. Yes. All right. So I'm going to use so, a maneuver and uh, take out my blaster. Hold on. Uh, all right. We're going to go to... Wait, or, what, what side are we on? Um, we're going back to 15 really quick, and I'm going to spawn all this stuff in here uh, as we catch up with the situation. So it's like, no, fuck it. I'm going to fight this. No, he's in the speeder. I'm in the, I'm in the yeah, I'm, I'm, rearranging guy. I'm rearranging it all. Oh, you're in the, it's in the speeder. Uh, with yeah. the corn. Hey, this was not my fault. Stomper <laughs> is outside by the door. Warren, <laughs> Warren, where are you? You know, you were like inside. It hadn't exactly been established. The last uh, thing I, I said figure was I would have really been don't like... have anything to do right now. Yeah. Um, um, let me grab some expats real quick. God. I figured I'd. Why I, did honestly, I do I, this? I figured I'm, I'm probably like. Getting ready to leave too, so I'm, I might be in the speeder by now. Also, I figure uh, Zeus okay. got more to kind of take care of in the building. They are not in armor, but they are remnant stormtroopers. You know, but oh, they're in like coats and stuff, so they're not in armor though. Not armored though. They're off duty. No, they were on their way back from the. Well, most of these guys who've been hanging out in the expat club They're haven't probably half been drunk in armor. Back from the club. They were. They went down to. These are some of the same guys, probably, who were down at Birdies earlier. The place had, ha you know, like three squads of stormtroopers in there getting drunk. Um, these might or might not be the same guys who rolled somebody in an alley earlier tonight. We don't know. But they stopped here to see what was going on and decided to, you know, throw some shade on you. And you're gonna you're gonna blast them, which is fine and I love it. Um so go ahead and give me a cool roll to uh okay. to do your um initiative. It is technically another encounter, so all of your, you know, stuff that you healed and recovered is at least back. But now of course you're gonna have a a whole nother chance to spend, you know, to take damage. So there's four. Round of them. one. All right. So what was your initiative? Uh. What'd I you roll? One, I got one success and one advantage. Any? Okay. One and a one. The troopers don't have any cool as a group skill. I know that much. So they're rolling two greens. They roll uh, zero successes and two advantages, so you do go first, Zeke. Sweet. Uh, I shoot the guy who spoke directly in the face. 
from my conversational range, so from point blank, I guess, meaning I don't from need to aim. From short range. No, you're at short Wait. range. It's going to be one purple okay. Okay. difficulty. Are you trying to stun, or are you trying to kill these I'm guys? I'm trying to kill Just... him. I'm trying to make him dead. It's already set to kill, so okay. you swing out your I feel like I feel like a stun blast from that close would probably hurt you pretty bad. Regardless. With your well, it would take a maneuver. Well, no, it's a, is it incidental, no, it's to, an switch incidental it? to switch? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so use your maneuver to pull your relby back out on its sling. You swing it around under your arm, and you hip fire <laughs> without aiming into the center of these remnant dicks, who threw you some shade outside of your smoldering, you know, house um, and place of business here. It's just, one purple die, go there. one setback for the dark, and one setback that's cancelled for the cold. So it's a purple and a setback for the difficulty against your ranged heavy. Can um, I get a boost from the fact that it's a completely unexpected action? Um, that they're yes. completely caught off guard by the fact that I just drew down on them and opened fire mid-conversation, mid, mid pretty much? Um, They have more advantage than you, so I'm going to go with no, if you yeah, wanted to boost, you'd have to use a maneuver to aim. Yeah, do you have anything like quick strike or any talents like that that give you? I don't think so, but I'm not. To go, I, if I if I you're not looking, to I'll look, look at right it, it's now. Take a minute. Okay, I'll look right. Now. Um, he's got point blank, so you get plus one damage when you hit them. Sweet, yeah. but he does not have any oh. quick strike. Okay, so he does not That's get fine. a boost to attacking before them. Um, All right. Let's see how this. Let's see how this goes. Do you want to use a destiny point? Oh, I just yes. rolled shit. Right. Uh, with a hit and two advantage, Take you it. strike the stormtrooper for ten damage. Um, What's his soak without armor? Uh, I'm looking Three. right now. Three. Thank you. Yeah. So he soaks three damage and takes eight. Instead, that puts him down. Uh, the rollover damage goes into the other guy as, like, strain or whatever. And, you know, they're shocked by the, you know, uh, Draw cold the sudden, is. yeah, the sudden violence. Zeev says, um, now what to use a smell? <laughs> yes, absolutely. All right, all right. I like it. Um, Starts playing. They so are going he, to make he's a like, discipline he's straight check. dead, right? They're going to make a discipline check. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Got they it. might go back and tell the commander. You know what I mean? They might not have been the guys who rolled that guy in an alley, so they have no reason not to go back and just fucking nope, the tell guys who threw the shade fucking the ISB frog. agent. You know what I mean? He is. A, okay. They have three willpower, but is discipline a group skill? Uh, it, is. it is. It is. It is. So they're rolling a yellow and two green. As a group of two now, yeah, it didn't update the die pool in the tracker. Um, okay, they get nothing, so they don't succeed. Um, they begin to back away, put their hands up. They're like, "Well, Griffin, sorry, man." Okay, uh, one guy starts backing away. The other one bends down to check his buddy. All right, Zeev, Zeev just like, "Are you fucking sorry?" And Slowly lowers his blaster, but he does not put it away. <laughs> Zeev murders so. <laughs> hey, he murdered me by words, so I murdered him with lasers. It seems like a fair excuse. Sorry, sorry, please apologize and walk away. <laughs> sorry, our bad. Quorum yeah. calls out yeah. Zeev get in the goddamn car. Get out of my car. Get in the goddamn car, Zeev! Alright, uh, you guys hightail it back to the expat club, I imagine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Alright, so uh, the camera cuts to you guys standing in the uh, conversation uh, area of the Silver Star Suite at the expat club. The Quarren soldier that you had captured uh, back at Zeef's uh, detective agency um, is locked up safely in the closet of your bedroom, Zavik. Uh, and Zeef and Warham are sitting uh, at chairs at the front table. I'll turn the camera over to you. Uh, I'll ask N4 if she can provide us for some uh, refreshments while we, uh, while we talk. Uh, she 
gives an affirmative to be dubbed in later and then heads off towards the kitchenette um, to prepare an appropriate refreshment uh, for your guests. Um, on her way, uh, she gives Stomper an affectionate pat. Yeah. Stomper if like Narsek won't up. seal the deal, at least Stomper can. <laughs> well, right. we got this guy locked in uh, here. Um, looks like you guys might need a new place to stay if you guys want to use this area. I have no problem, you know, reallocating some of the rooms for you. Thank you. That's very kind, Master Jedi. We might, uh, we might just have to take you up on that for the short term here. Warm gets to upgrade from a couch to a bed. That's not yeah. bad. Warm uh, kind of nods in agreement and uh, thanks uh, Zavix. No longer in the Harry Potter closet. How long do we have to wait until uh, until Narset gets back? Um, she was heading out for at least two days Darn, when we you last spoke to her. Okay. But she decided to stay out longer in conversation with Pintera, which you don't know about in your conversation. Okay. So your assumption is that she'll be back after a two-day trip, which might mean, like, tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. But re in reality, she's going to be back, like, right before the race, basically. Sure. Y'all just don't know that, and she's out of contact in the meanwhile. Mm -hmm. um, she's so out of comms range. That's though. meta, though, so... Well, and Zeef, uh, do you want to do a good cop, bad cop with this guy that's uh, inside the closet? I do. Um, shall we Shall we take the natural roles here, or do you want to switch it up? <laughs> uh, I think it'd be more fun to see you in your element. Okay, sounds good. Um, Stomper, stop flirting, get over here. Uh, Stomper uh, gives uh, N4 uh, a few gonks. Uh, to which she titters in return and then stomps his way uh, over to you at the front of the suite um, as you rise and head back towards Zavix's master bedroom uh, he turns and gonks towards the companion droid once more and then sort of hurries after you with a bottle 